Sing a song. I'm sure you can't hear the music, can you? So, hello, and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is my Black Girl Magic coffee mug that I got from Etsy. Uh, I will try to find it and link it down below. I've done it in the past, so hopefully I can find it. And in my Black Girl Magic is one of my favorite teas, the Puka After Dinner. Uh, it's a delicious balance of sweet fennel, roast chicory, and cardamom. And... It's fair trade, roasted chicory root and a seed, sweet fennel, licorice root, cardamom, orange peel, and ginger root, and 12% fair trade, or fair wild certified ingredients, 32% fair trade ingredients, infused for up to 15 minutes. We should be here about that long. Anyway, um, Melissa, I believe, got me the uh, advent calendar that introduced me to this tea, and I just love it. And it's kind of late at night, and it just seems like a really good tea to have. Uh, I did only use one bag because I think the mug is small enough. Let's hope it is. Let's go ahead and give her a sip, and we will get started. As the music gets louder in the background. The flavor is starting. Mm. That's a really nice tea. It really, really is. Anyway, so today um, I'm doing something I've been asked for in the past. Uh, I couldn't think of a way to do it because of various self-imposed. I'm going to bring you a little closer, folks. There we go. <laughs> self-imposed challenges, including the whole thing that... Um, I do not know how to put little little things in the corner. I'm going to have to work on learning how to do that. Uh, however, today we'll do what I usually do, which is basically insert things for about three little things and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And then we will uh, kind of go from there. <laughs> At any rate, so I'm planning to do this, this um, it's new, will it do, series twice a month, hopefully, we'll see. Depends on how many, I mean, come come, uh, come the holidays, it's going to probably get crazy. But right now, we'll see how it goes. I was noticing I was having trouble finding stuff just for the, you know, the first week of, the last two weeks of July, I guess. I, it seemed like most stuff came earlier in July, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I am doing this because several of you asked, and we'll see how this, uh, we'll just, like I said, several times now, we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and get started, and we will start with the Color Pop Matte About Hue. Now, as you all know, I have the Fade Into Hue. The Fade Into Hue is also a 30, uh, a 30 shade palette. Uh, larger palettes like that are often difficult for me, more often than not difficult for me, because uh, it's just too many shades, and with my ADHD, I just, I have no idea what to do. I get, I get, um, flustered, I get um, overwhelmed, I get overwhelmed by the um, the number of shades and the common, I mean, it just, it's overwhelming. However, the Fade Into Hue is um, multiple different kinds of finishes. It has mattes, it has satins, it has shimmers, it has glitters, and that makes it a little easier for me to decide how to use it. The matte about Hue is all mattes, and um, as much as I like ColourPop, I've been buying a lot from them lately, as much as I like ColourPop, I don't think this one is for me. One, you all know I'm not a big fan of mattes in general. There are a number of companies that do have some very good mattes that I do enjoy using upon occasion, um, but in general, mattes just don't work for me. Also, I have, like I said, I already have the Fade Into You, which is multiple different um, finishes, which makes it easier to work with. This is all mattes, 
And I have a number of colorful uh, matte palettes if I want to use matte colors. Uh, one of them I don't bring out much. That's the Hank and Henry tie-dye. I also have a Lorella Prideful, which I believe is all mattes. And uh, yeah, I have a few of those palettes. So I think, I don't think this palette is for me. Um, and another thing is uh, the ColourPop mattes, they have gotten better over the years, but they still tend to be very inconsistent. So you will end up with some that are just dusty and um, patchy and don't really seem to work on your lid. So, yeah, it's, it's for anybody who wants to have a nice rainbow palette, who likes mattes and wants a variety of colors, it might really work for them. But for me, it just, it, it won't. <laughs> This is not on my purchase list anytime soon. And I'm going to warn you right now, most of this stuff is not, there's a couple of things I'm looking at, but for the most part, this one will not do for me. And we are, you know what, I'm going to say right now that we are, we can disagree. If you want any of these palettes, don't listen to me. <laughs> any of this makeup, just don't listen to me. You know, we can all be friends and go, we don't like that. Or, you know, I prefer this over that. And that's just fine. So let's just all, you know, go, that's your opinion and that's just great. Okay. <laughs> that's my opinion. And we're going to go there. The next is the Kimchi Chick. And I think it's the Rose Metal Collection. I think it is a collaboration. And I believe that they are both, um, as I blank out, drag queens. I think. I'm not positive about that. Overall, this collection looks really cute. However, um, I've had these split pan blushes before. I've had, I ordered one. It came shattered. They sent the replacement. The replacement actually came in fine, but then shattered before I could use it, and I hadn't touched it. So I don't know what it is about those split pan blushes, those split pan, I think some of those are highlighters. They're just not going to work for me. Uh, so those are going to be a no. I'm not buying shit that's going to break as soon as I touch it. It's just not going to work. I did enjoy my little palette that I got. Uh, I'd have to dig it up. But it has a bunch of beautiful bright greens and a gold, I think it's their mojito or something, something similar palette. It's a beautiful little palette. The colors are gorgeous. The formula is nice. Even the mattes work fairly well. So I'm actually mm, kind of interested in the palette, but this one is primarily neutrals as I recall. Okay, so it's not primarily neutrals, but it's got two rows of neutral plus one of the one of the shades in the three rows of colors is a neutral. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm quite as interested in that palette. I have most of these colors. I, I don't need to buy that many neutrals in a palette. If I prefer to get colored palettes with one or two or three neutrals, you know, I don't want it to be a big chunk of the palette. I am kind of curious, however, about the um, lipsticks, I think. So I'm going to say that I might purchase some of the lipsticks, especially the liquid lipsticks. I'm like out of, I just pulled some of my last um, um, backups of some of my lipsti liquid lipsticks and put them in my liquid lipstick section in my drawers. Uh, so I am like almost out of liquid lipsticks and I am curious to look around and find some others. Uh, the problem with liquid lipsticks is much like uh, mascara. If you don't use it all up, you're throwing a lot of stuff away. I don't know what the cost on these are. I will put any information I can find down below. Um, but I am kind of curious about the lipsticks. Like I said, I haven't tried a lipstick. I wanted to get a blush and I had the palette. And I think that's all I purchased, and um, I don't recall getting any lipsticks. So I might want to try the lipsticks. Haven't decided yet, but I'm thinking about it. All right, next. This is the Winky Lux and Applebee's Lips Collection. No. <laughs> 
It's, I, no. Uh, for one, I'm actually a little tired of seeing um, all these collabs with food. I get it. It's supposed to be cute. It's supposed to be fun. But unless you're Glam Light, whose whole aesthetic is based on food, they did taco pellets and hamburger. I mean, unless it's like that, to me, this whole, we're going to collab with a food, uh, strikes me as desperation type of we can't find anything else to be creative type measures for most other makeup brands because most other makeup brands have not done that until Glam Light was doing that, um, to my knowledge. I mean, there could have been a few that were doing things that I just was not aware of. So, you know, two of the colors in this particular collection, the red and the gold, are interesting, but they're not necessarily unique. I can find red and gold glittery type liquid lipsticks just about anywhere. This this collab, which I guess if you're talking about the restaurant, if the restaurant put their name on it, I suppose it's a collab. Uh, it's not like they said, yes, we're going to do a taco. No shade to glam light. Like I said, that is their aesthetic. That's what they do. But they didn't do a taco, just a general taco, and throw some greens and reds and browns out there. Um, which is the other thing I have. There's not that many much you can do that's unique with a food-based palette, unfortunately. But anyway, um, these colors are not necessarily unique. I have tried the Winky Lups. Winky Lups. Winky Lux bullet lipsticks. I used to have some minis and on the bullets. I actually found them nice and um, did enjoy them. I have not tried their liquid lipsticks, uh, but this would not encourage me to do it. So um, will it do? No, I'm, I'm going to pass. It's a hard pass on them on this particular um, release. <laughs> So the next one makes me kind of sad because <laughs> I just got accepted as, as one of their affiliates, but the Mented Intense Color Eyeshadow Sticks. For one, I'm not really thrilled with sticks, okay? I've got a green one that I've been playing around with a little bit. I can't seem to get them to do much for me. <laughs> I'll keep playing around. I'm trying to learn. Hopefully I can get an eyeshadow stick to behave <laughs> someday. Um, but uh, as most of you know, if you're looking at the, when you look at the picture, if you go back and look at the picture, which I posted, put in the video, because I, I will figure this out one day. <laughs> if you look at that picture, they're all nudes. And you all know me. I'm, I'm just not into nudes, particularly for my lips. Um, cause nudes, I am just that shade of beige that's just right to make pastels and nudes just disappear. So most nudes that I wear or I try end up making my lips look like they don't exist <laughs> or they barely exist. So no, I, I wouldn't do a nude. Um, and these are eyeshadows and I have that same issue, the pastels and browns. They just disappear. They really just literally disappear off my face. Um, I think one of the reasons I'm into color is because I, those colors just don't work for me. Um, uh, if they had released, say, a true gold instead of the rose gold, which is another shade that doesn't work on me. It's sad. I love the color rose gold, but it doesn't work on me. It just disappears into my skin. Um, but if they had it released a gold or something with a bit more color to it, um, I might have tried those. Um, but I don't, I honestly, I would like to see men to do more color, but I don't really expect them to. They are a company that is um, founded on mostly neutrals that work for brown skin or black skin, you know, for people of color. Neutrals for a lot of companies get very dusty and ashy on our skin. It is not their fault that I am that shade of beige where neutrals just don't really work that well. 
So I'm not expecting them to go bright and colorful. I would like to see some color someday. These are not colorful, not even that rose gold one. I So unfortunately, these are a pass. So the next one is the Spoiled Lips Tiki Palette. which I initially found intriguing. I thought it was interesting. I was inter initially interested in the, um, in the color story. Um, there are quite a few uh, neutrals in this palette, like the bottom third. So again, you're looking at a lot of neutrals. But the more I looked at it, the more I thought, I have these colors somewhere, most of them, somewhere. And if there's anything unique in here, and I don't know if that bottom one is unique at all. I don't know what the, that, that marbling will do. I don't know if that's supposed to be an eyeshadow or if that's supposed to be a highlighter or what. Um, maybe that middle blue, the very middle blue might be kind of unique. But it's kind of sad to me that my first thought when I looked at these was, I have most of these. And whatever is in here that is unique to my collection is not worth it to me to get this palette. I do like the Spoiled Lips palette that a friend sent to me, um, one of our viewers sent to me. And I suspect that this one is just as good or not better in terms of the quality of the eyeshadows. But... Like I said, it just made me think that I have most of these colors and what I'm interested in, what was interesting is not enough to encourage me to buy the palette. So would this do or not? I'm going to say no. I, I'm not, I'm not at all interested in this particular, after some thought, I had to think about it. I did have to look at it. I was, particularly the packaging, the packaging is kind of cute. It's a little odd to me, but kind of cute. Um, but the colors on the packaging really caught my attention, but the colors inside just really didn't, if that makes sense. And it's like the colors on the inside do have relation to the colors they have on the packaging. It just doesn't seem as bright. They seem much more muted than I would have expected. Um, had they been brighter, it might have been a different story. I can't say that for sure, say for sure, but had they been brighter, it's quite possible it would have been a different story. All right, so next we have the Ace Beauty Palette to Topoli, uh, which is based kind of on Monopoly, I think. Uh, the palette comes with a game, and because of that, the palette is actually almost 50 bucks, and that's really kind of expensive, but you get this game with it. Um, so I'm on the fence a little bit about this one. I like the Ace palettes I have. I have like three of them. They are beautiful. I used one tonight. They are highly pigmented. Their mattes are smooth and they blend and they're beautiful. Um, I feel like they're, I feel like the brand Ace Beauté is one of those brands that gets overlooked way too much. Um, and the number of shades in this palette, um, a number of the shades in this palette are calling my name. I love the purples in here. That grungy green is beautiful. Uh, there is a beautiful uh, blue. It looks like it's a silvery blue with another d darker version of that color. So there's a number of colors in here that are calling my name. However, I am not interested in the game at all. I understand what the game's... The game is, a, is supposed to bring some more fun and interest and that kind of thing into the makeup community. Uh, I feel for most of us experts, it's a, it's a little, I don't know. I'm just not interested in it in, in that way. Um, I gather for some people who are not work, used to working with color or looking for challenges where the game might uh, give you, uh, say, pretty opposite colors to work with, they might enjoy this, but I'm, I'm not really interested in the game. And, uh, unfortunately, the palette is only available with the game. And if it ever came available separate from the game, I would probably pick it up. But with the game, and considering they hiked the price for that, and that makes sense, um, 
I would think that they would take at least ten dollars off that fifty dollar price for if they if they offered it separate from the game. I just yeah, I'd much rather have it without the game. And hopefully, maybe one day they will do that. And if they do offer it without the game, I'd definitely be interested and seriously considering picking it up. Um, but with the game, not so much. So it's one of those where I say, would it do? Probably. You just need to get rid of the game. Just give me the palette and <laughs> leave the game home. Um, I am not trying to be boring, folks. I am not trying. To, I love the colors in this, that palette, and I love Ace Beauty, um, their quality. But I, I'm just not interested in playing games when I'm putting on my makeup. I can come up with color stories on my own. I, I am aware that some people struggle with that, and this might be an interesting thing for them. But for me... No, I would never play that game. <laughs> I would never do it. Next, we have their the Moira Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder. And I am seriously considering this one. I really, really am. Uh, it's waterproof setting powder, to me, is an innovative idea. I would really like to see how it works. Uh, if it works at all, what that means in terms of when you put the powder on, how the powder looks when you put it on. Uh, it's also got oil control, which I need for my nose in the summer. So I would be very interested in trying this. Um, they have several shades. I'd actually have to go look and see, but they had quite a few shades. I had to go looking around to see if I could find my my shade when I was over there. So it looks really interesting and I can see myself picking this one up fairly soon. Not immediately, <laughs> but fairly soon. We have some other things we gotta take care of right now. So I'm trying to limit, I've got a box I'm going to be buying because it has a brand in it that I've been wanting to try. So well, I'm gonna hold off on this one for at least a, a couple of weeks, maybe a month maybe a little longer. And then I think I can see myself um, picking this up possibly with some of their um, uh, lippies, but, which I also haven't tried. I've tried, uh, I've tried two or three of their palettes and their palettes were decent. So this would be interesting to see how it works. I'm just, I, waterproof. I'm trying to imagine waterproof powder and how that would look on your face, especially after it got wet. What's it gonna do to protect your foundation? I, I just I just have to see. And of course, with my eye issues and the way I drip, <laughs> the way I tear up, um, yeah, I think it would be a really interesting thing to try, just to see if it actually works. All right, so our last new release that I'm looking at right now is the Estate Resort Pigment Palette. This is another brand that I think um, people are sleeping on and um, they, they have very good products. I have a couple of palettes from theirs. Now, the last time that they were offered in any kind of bag or box, the palettes that they offered were both fairly neutral. But before that, they had the Bailey Therian palette, which I believe is still on their website. I think it was so popular that they've just made it at least semi-permanent that I think it's still there. Um, so this is their newest palette. And I got to say, I am really sad that it is that it is neutral. It is neutral as it is. I do think the palette's inexpensive, like $12 or $15 or something like that. Again, list it down below with the prices. And at a low price like that, I'd be willing to give this a shot. It has a couple of beautiful yellows, that matte orange, the blue. Um, I think there's a, a nice like pinky type shimmer, but it is, it does lean nude. And is that a yellow? That looks like it's more of a lime green. I've been into the lime greens lately. I'm not sure why. But at any rate, um, it's an interesting palette. It is mostly neutral. So I'm. this is another one I'm on the fence. Uh, I really like Estate. 
I like the estate stuff that I've tried. I've gotten their lippies. I've gotten their eyeliner. I, I've enjoyed the stuff from them that I've gotten in the past. But do I enjoy their stuff? Do I enjoy the pigmentation enough to pick up this 50-50 palette? Which is actually, I would say it's actually more, 50, more than 50-50. Because even the shades, even the orange and the yellow and the lime green are not leaning bright. They're leaning more towards their neutral cousins. Um, so I'm on the fence about this one too. Uh, I think it's an interesting palette. It's a pigment palette. It has the estate quality behind it. Um, so it has a lot going for it, but this is a palette that I'm afraid I pick up, I'd use once or twice, and then it would eventually end up in a Project Beauty Share box because I'm not using it at all, uh, because it is mostly neutrals. Uh, I guess that would really depend on how well these pigments worked, how especially the matte pigments worked, and how, um, they showed up on my skin. Did they actually give color or are they dusty or are they almost translucent? That's, and I can't tell that unless I buy it. And I don't know if I want to buy it because I can't tell that. So this one is another one that's um, up in the air, so to speak. It's another one of those palettes that I'm interested in, but the number of neutrals in it makes me a little, quite a bit less interested, unfortunately. Anyway, let me know if you are interested in any of those releases. If you're going to be buying any of those releases, let me know down below. I'm really interested in hearing your opinion on them. And in the meantime, that is it for the day, and I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen and you're not yet subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. When you do subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I am currently aiming for three days a week. That would be Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. However, as uh, sometime this month has shown, we do occasionally have bonus videos. We've, we've had two this month. We may have more, but we've had two this month. So we do occasionally have bonus videos, and those will not show up unless you have that bell rung, and then you'll get a little notice that says that um, I have something up. Well, you'll see that for anybody, but at least you'll know to check, right? If you're a part of my notification squad as I fumble along here, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. And if you choose not to subscribe, well, after all the fumbling around right now, I guess I could understand. I'm still getting back into it, guys. I really am trying hard. <laughs> I'm just, I, I feel like I, 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 I get you. I get you. But if you still choose not to subscribe, you are always welcome here. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. All right, let's see if this tea has done a nice strengthening up on just the one bag. Please taste beautiful. Continue to taste beautiful. She's still nice and warm. Okay, so I think I added a little too much sugar, but it is not tasting watery. But I think for me, the tea could be a little bit stronger. I would not, however, go for another bag in there. I think that would end up being too strong. It is very almost coffee-like. And I'm not a fan of coffee, but I'm a big fan of this tea. So hopefully you can find it in your grocery store. If not, you can check down below and you'll see a link to go ahead and find it somewhere else. This one is one of their rare ones that is not... It's a little more expensive than their other teas for some reason. I was really surprised when I saw the price on it. But it's worth it. Anyway, that's it. Hope you have a good one.